Hi, I'm Chris Mutchler, Principal Enterprise Architect and VCDX257 from VirtualElephant.com. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the top three training courses and certifications I recommend for you in 2024. Let's get started. In this video, I'm going to talk about the three training courses and certifications that I recommend for you as an aspiring architect or seasoned architect in 2024. But before we do that, let's just take a moment and talk about goal setting in general. Goals are a thing that I've been extremely passionate about. You've seen that I've created other content around how I'm setting goals, setting career goals, tracking them, using tools like Notion and Todoist every day. Um, but ultimately, goals need to be personal, right? They need to be for you. What are you trying to accomplish in your career, in your personal life, and how are you trying to be better? I'm a massive advocate for continuous learning, and that's really what this video is all about. We need to always be looking out beyond where we're at today to what we want to get to next so that we can figure out what we should be doing personally to be able to further our own goals for ourselves. And continuous learning is how we do that. Whether it's a new hobby or whether it's developing a talent that you already have and just expanding upon it, making sure that we're always learning something new, I think is a critical aspect for us in our lives regardless of what our age is or how far along we may or may not be in our career. So spend some time. I highly encourage you to spend some time this year in the next month or so focusing on what you want to be accomplishing in your life, whether it's a prof professional goal or a personal goal. Maybe it's about getting healthier. Maybe it's about learning a new language or a new skill set. Whatever it is, spend some time thinking about what's important to you this year and then going out and finding ways, finding opportunities for you to be able to jump into that learning process and learn a new skill or a new trait. I highly encourage that for you. So without further ado, let's talk about the three uh, certification programs that I highly encourage you to look into as an architect this year um, in 2024. So first and foremost, TOGAF. If you haven't already um, spent time taking some of the TOGAF training, learning more about that enterprise architecture framework, I highly encourage you to do so. There's a number of online trainings, both in person and virtual, that you can take with boot camps that last five or 10 business days. Whichever one you do, I encourage you to jump right into it, find one that works for your schedule, learn more about enterprise architecture and really how it rounds out potentially what your your technical skill set is already as TOGAF really focuses as much around the business aspect of architecture as it does the technical side. And then as soon as you've taken that boot camp, the way that I did it was I took the boot camp. It was great. It was all online during the pandemic. And as soon as it was over, I spent the weekend studying and I think a couple of days into the next week. And then I immediately took the test and passed it. I thought it was a, a good certification test. I thought that it covered the material really well uh, without being too hypothetical and without really kind of being too nitty gritty about random details that you read um, in the TOGAF documentation. I thought that it was a really well-rounded test um, and made sure that you actually understood all of the different aspects of the enterprise architecture framework that the open group has developed. So that's the first certification that I highly recommend to you. The second certification or training that I highly encourage you to take this year is around Kubernetes. Now here, I would say you have a little bit of a choice. Um, you can go maybe what I would say is maybe the more traditional route for an architect or an infrastructure architect, which is the certified Kubernetes administrator certification. Or if your background is maybe more on the development side and you think of yourself more as an application development architect, I would say the certified Kubernetes developer um, certification uh, track might be more suitable for you, but whichever of the two that you choose, there's lots of great coursework out there. I will say that I use the Udemy um, certification class for the CKA certification a few years ago. Again, during the pandemic, we had lots of time for certifications. I feel like during the pandemic when we were all locked down and working from home. Um, so find a certification program, a track in Kubernetes that you're interested in. 
obviously Kubernetes for all of us, I think in the industry is critical skill to have. Um, more and more companies are looking for individuals who have a background in Kubernetes um, and either one of these two certifications, depending on where your skill sets lie or your talents lie, I think will be a massive boon to you going forward. So make sure that you spend some time this year learning more about Kubernetes, learn about how it looks from an infrastructure perspective, learn how it looks from an application development perspective, and learn more about how those two paths come together so that as an architect, whether it's a solutions architect, an enterprise architect, or a cloud architect, um, you can better understand um, what makes up the Kubernetes ecosystem and how you can be able to develop those skills to be a boon to both yourself and to the company or organizations that you work for. The third certification or training that I would encourage you to consider this year is really not a single certification, um, but really one of three, I would say. So whichever background you have, whether you're like me, where you came from more of the enterprise, running a data center systems administrator into architecture uh, track, or maybe you started out using entirely um, public cloud um, for your infrastructure, whichever way you come, I would encourage you to pick one of the major three uh, public cloud providers, whether it's AWS, GCE, or Azure, um, and go after one of their certifications. Now, my recommendation to you is if you're already familiar, say you already have um, certifications with AWS, then I would encourage you to pick one of the other two, whether it's GCE or Azure, to go after one of their certifications so that you can really, what we're trying to get here again, right, continuous learning, we're trying to round our skill sets out and round out um, what our capabilities are. So picking a second um, public cloud provider to go after um, their certification, I think will be critical for you because it'll make you highly marketable to both your own organization and potentially other employers and other organizations out there. We know that it's a tough job market here in 2024 as a result of so many layoffs across the industry over the last 18 and 24 months. And so I think that if you are familiar with one public cloud provider, it would be a massive benefit to you to learn another cloud provider's infrastructure and service offerings that they have so that you make yourself more marketable so that if the unfortunate were to happen and you lost your job um, due to a layoff, you would be more marketable to other companies. Or if you're just trying to you know, take the next step in your career, again, I think having a, a firm understanding and a foundational knowledge of multiple public cloud providers will be a massive boon to you. So regardless of what certifications you think you might be after this year or what continuous learning you want to jump into, I would just encourage you to do something. Act. Get out there. Learn something new. Develop a new talent. Develop a new skill set. It could be cybersecurity. It could be cloud. There's so much out there for us. Um, and certainly we didn't even talk about how important Gen AI is and all of the different things that are coming out in that space. Certainly that's one area that you could also be pursuing in 2024. I will say that there are many resources out there and I will link them in the description below this video for free trainings. The free trainings, the, the online seminars that are out there are a good way to figure out if this is something you're truly interested in and if it's something you want to develop and dedicate a significant amount of time to in 2024. So before we close off, I will just say I will give you a bonus. Number four, certainly I'm a massive advocate of the VCDX program from VMware. It is sticking around with Broadcom now that VMware has been acquired. I think that the VCDX certification is a certification that all architects should be going after. Whether you're a public cloud architect or a private cloud VMware-based architect, I think that the VCDX program sets itself apart from all other architecture certifications out there, even the TOGAF, because of its nature of where you have to submit a design and be able to present that to a board of panelists to defend all of the individual design decisions that you make. I think that makes it um, absolutely unique in the industry and an opportunity for you to really develop your skills as an architect to be able to understand how to have conversations with stakeholders, whether they're 
CIOs, CTOs, VPs of infrastructure, down to other enterprise architects or solutions architects, or even um, SREs, systems administrators, cloud administrators at an organization. Um, the VCDX program, I think, is truly unparalleled, and I encourage all of you to consider it if you're looking for a way to boost your credentials in 2024. Now, if you like this content, please consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about a lot about enterprise architecture. I talk about how to become a better architect, things that I do in my day-to-day -day, um, from an architecture and workshop perspective to help those of you who are potentially aspiring to become architects or just grow your skills. So please make sure that you subscribe, turn on the notifications, and certainly leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought of this video. Feel free to reach out to me on Twitter at Chris Mutchler. Find me on LinkedIn, and I look forward to talking to you next time.